Hi everyone, so I've been wanting to do a tutorial for digital art because I haven't done an actual tutorial in a while. I've done tips for digital artists, but I want to do a tutorial talking about lighting today and mostly glowing, glowing effects or making things shine, um, how glowing things will affect objects around it, and just like how to achieve that effect really easily. So that's what this video is going to be about. I'm going to be using these little fishies that I drew. Oh, before I go any further, I'm using Paint Tool Psi 2. That's the program, but if you have Paint Tool Psi 1, that'll be fine and pretty much any digital painting program, like Photoshop, anything like that, will work for this, so don't worry if you're not using Psy, you can use whatever you want. So one of the most important things for making things glow is to have a dark background, because the way to make things look brighter is to have darker things behind them. So you want to start off with a dark background. Don't make it black though, make it some kind of color. I'm making mine um, a little bluish because, or it's more of like an indigo purpley blue because they're fish and I want them to kind of, you know, match that underwater thing, but I might change them. I might change the background later. You can always change it, but first of all, I just want to fill in the fish. So the way I do this is I select around like this. So I'm going to invert the selection, select, invert. I'm gonna make these different colors. I want one of them to be blue, and I want another one to be more of a pinky. And I wanna change the color of the lines as well, so I'm gonna go to the line work, click preserve opacity, and I want it to be like a dark blue, perhaps. And this will be a dark red. And you can always change it later, I'm just seeing if this will work. And one of the most important things about making things look like they're shining or like they're glowing um, look up pictures of light bulbs or fire. You'll notice that it's always white in the middle, kind of like that. And then as you go out, you see more of the color. I should be using the airbrush for this. So it's always like really bright in the middle and it fades out to a much more saturated version of the color. Once you understand that, it's really easy to make things glow. And once I understood that, I found it very, very easy. I think this fish should be a little darker to start off. If you start off too light, it can be hard to make the darks dark enough, so I'm gonna begin with painting in a slightly more saturated bluey color. I'm gonna be switching between the airbrush and the brush tool. So the idea for this fish is his body will be glowing, and I'm gonna make his fins be glowing even more, so they're gonna be brighter than the body. I'm gonna brighten it up a little more. I'm using almost white here. I'm gonna put blue right around the white. It's a little easier to use the airbrush tool because it does make it smoother and light. It has a nice gradient to it usually, so. So notice how I'm making his fins really, really bright. They're gonna be glowing more than his body because they're thinner. And I'm gonna put a little bit of blue around them. So I just added some white in the middle part of all the glowing areas just to really brighten it up. It might take a while to like get the shape of the glow right. And since the tail is right by this glowing part, it will be affected by the glow. The part that's going to make it look like it's glowing more, I'm going to go below it and take a blue. I'm just gonna insert a little explanation here. Basically what I'm doing here is going underneath the fish on top of the background. You do a darker saturated version of the color and make a little like glowing ring around it and make sure that it fades out. And this basically goes back to the candle picture where you, you can see the color illuminating off of the glowing object. And this is one of the things that really makes it look like it's actually glowing. I'm gonna change the line work color to something not quite so dark. So I changed the line work color, and the color that's around the fish is kind of a really dark blue. So I'm going to blend this out that's around him using the water tool. One more thing, I want to do another level of light around him that's a little brighter and closer. I'm 
And I like to use the layer overlay. I'm gonna blur that a little more. So basically, this was making it glow without really using any, without really relying on any layer modes like shine or overlay. And the thing to remember is um, as you get more in towards the center of the glowing object, it gets whiter and more intense. And as you move away, it gets more, um, almost more like saturated and more color is added. So it's kind of like fades like that. And then around it, you do a glow of the color, but it, it's a lot darker than you'd think it would be because it's just a glow. And since it's on such a dark background, you still can see the color intensity of that. But if I took that away, it doesn't really have that much of an impact, but once you put it back, it's a lot nicer. So for this one, I'm gonna do it a little differently. So first, this should be darker to start. So for this fish, I'm gonna show what you would do if something beside an object is casting a glowing light onto it. So basically colored light. And the thing about lighting is there's ways to do it right and there's ways to do it wrong, but there's also kind of ways you can fake it sort of. And this will kind of be one of those times where you know the general area of where the light's coming from and you can kind of choose how you want to depict it, whatever way you want. So start off with a color that's not too light and just eye drop that color. Go to where you're selecting your colors and make it more brighter and more intense, so more towards the top corner here. And you can change the hue a little bit too, because if you just shade all with one color, it can look really flat. And let's say the light's coming from, from the right. So I'm going to paint in where I would imagine it's hitting the fish. So this, this side of the fish, it would be hitting... Maybe I'll switch to the airbrush tool on the second hardness setting. And it's hitting his fin here, a little bit of this fin. And his tail's really thin, so I would imagine it would absorb a little more of the light. And as I go, I eye drop the colors in between the colors I just put down so I can kind of create a gradient between them. So this is kind of the deep color from the light, but let's say it was really, really intense right beside this fish. You would also get a much more whiter color And around this brighter color, you want the intense color to kind of blend into. And you can even make it whiter and do a nice line at the very edge. It can definitely make your lighting more interesting to include different colors. So I'm kind of going from a purpley pink all the way to an orange color. I'm gonna put a bit of blue on the other side because this fish is also beside a blue fish that's giving off a lot of light. And I want his eye to be glowing a little. I could even make the line art super bright on this side if I wanted. Make it more saturated. Yeah, you can even make it like this. And where it glows blue a little, I'm gonna clean that up a bit. I'm going to use Multiply to go in and darken some parts. So I'm going to just roughly block in where I want it to be darker. So here are the areas where I want it to be darker. I kind of want to change the color, so I'm going to go to Filter, Hue, Change. It's kind of hard to tell when it's so dark. I'm going to lower the opacity. It needs to be more colorful, I think. More saturated. I think it looks better like that. And then you can do a layer above it and kind of blend that out a little. And the way I'm going to make it look like his eyes are glowing is kind of what I did before, where the middle is whiter and brighter. And then it gets saturated near the outside as you move away. Now another step to make this look better is to go in behind everything like I did with the blue one. And you want to make it have a little ring around it mostly on the side i'm using my airbrush tool on kind of a big setting i mean sorry big brush size you want to go around the side that has the light and add that nice glowing ring to it and do it on the other side too but maybe not as intense i'm going to do one more on overlay i make it more of a pinkish color 
and go a little bit closer to the fish. And one thing that I want to talk about is adding little like flecks of light. So above everything, if you go to your pen tool and take a really light color, you can do like little dots to kind of show like, I don't know, specks of dust or light, like little objects that are the light is casting on or just sparkles <laughs> if you want. And it kind of, I don't know, it adds something. I'm gonna add one more layer on shine or luminosity or something like that. I think I'll put it on shade slash shine. Maybe lower the opacity a little. I really hope you enjoyed this video, um, me giving some tips about digital art and just about making things glow. And I had a lot of fun making this because making things glow is a lot of fun. And basically your main point you want to take away from this is that when things glow, you have this area of color, but then in the middle, it's usually white because it's kind of, it's most intense in the middle. That's like the, the biggest thing you have to remember. And after that, you can play around with what colors you want to layer on because you don't have to just make it glow one color. You can have it glow different colors. You can combine colors together and make it glow however you want. I didn't really get into that in this video. I just wanted to keep it, well, kind of in the red one. It's like a purpley orange, pink, red glowing thing, but it's mostly just glowing pink. And if there's anything you want me to do like this with digital art, any like little tips or things that you're confused about or things you want me to talk about, please tell me in the comments. I would love to make a video like that for you. But I really hope you found this video helpful. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Oh,